Okay, so um, I don't know how to edit on this particular computer, and I looked up and realized that I'd stopped recording, and I started playing with the computer a little bit and realized that it was my space bar. Every time something hits my space bar, it either stops or starts the recording. So I was like, oh, shoot. So, um, yeah, this particular uh, video is going to be split into parts. <laughs> Hopefully you'll only have two parts. So um, I'm, I don't know where the other video left off, unfortunately. Uh, so I think we got this done, obviously this done, and I think we were gluing these down when the video cut out, but I went ahead and glued these down here, so they're pockets now, and I also glued this page because this page wasn't adhered to this page yet, and I didn't realize that. So I did go ahead and adhere that. But I made two pockets, so I ended up gluing straight down here, and then here, and then here. So it was basically three lines of glue to make two pockets. Oh, and I inked the little edge in here before I glued it down. That would have been fun to try to do after you glue it down. So then we were going to <laughs> then I was deciding on if I was going to do this blank or not, and I think I am. And I started flipping through my pages over here, which I'm going to have to move because I've hit the space bar several times. So, um, we are going to move the pages to the other side. And we're just going to do it like that. Because I really don't want to have 17 videos <laughs> in one day. And I don't think you guys want to watch 17 videos in one day that are all like a minute or two each. So hopefully we can get this collection of videos <laughs> to about an hour. I think I saw that the other one was like 23 minutes or something like that. So we'll probably cut this off at around 40-ish minutes or maybe 35 or something like that. Um, oh, but goodness gracious me, that's just funny. Uh, I had no idea. So I'm, I'm using OBS and there's no editing program within OBS, so it's just like, it's just a recording and streaming and that's not another. I don't have it set up to stream, but um, I'm just digging through my papers. Ooh, this will be fun. Um, but anyway, back in the day when I would use my laptop, I would, um, I would use my phone to record and then I would upload it onto my laptop and I would use um, a program to, sorry, I'm just getting the glue off my glue, the glue off my glue. I would use a program to edit and uh, you might have heard of it. I don't know how many of you guys are like tech savvy or whatever, but it's called Filmora, but it's not free. <laughs> you have to pay for it. But I paid for the Apple version because my laptop, well, is an Apple. And my desktop is, well, not. So I didn't really want to pay for it again. And my cameras and everything are set up through my computer. The entire reason I even have this computer was because um, I was streaming for a long time. And my laptop just wasn't fast enough to keep up with the stream and have good quality. Um, because I've, I've sat through streams that are not very good quality. And, you know, as, as much as you want to support them, sometimes you just can't because, you know, your eyes can't handle the blur or the constant skipping. And so it was important to me to have a good quality computer to be able to handle that. But now, <laughs> I don't stream anymore, but I'm not giving up my computer because my computer is amazing. I love this computer. It is so fast and has so much memory. Like I have every single file that Graphics Fairy has ever 
put out if it's still on their site now if it if they put it out like seven years ago and they have since taken it down I, I don't have that because um, I've I only became a member a couple years ago um, but that's a lot uh, I have a <laughs> I have a 20 terabyte hard drive on my computer on this computer uh, on my laptop I have like 286 gigs and there is absolutely no comparison there's just not if you know anything about running out of space on your camera on your phone or whatever then you understand having that extra space is so incredibly pleasing you don't have to worry about having to delete things I had even got an external hard drive for my laptop it had four terabytes on it I filled that thing up with videos in like a month it was insane and that was back when I was recording so yeah the RAM is slower the video card is not as good um, but I mean that just comes with having a, a built computer versus having a manufactured computer you know and that's really with anything if you have things custom made they're going to be more suited for your needs versus having something that's already pre-made that you're buying you know you know what I mean Oh no! No! Good thing Fabri-Tac doesn't like plastic. Uh, I hope these are plastic. I don't think they are. They're glass. I can feel them. That's okay. It still works. <laughs> Alright. Come here, bulk. There we go. And see, this actually uses up some of the supplies as well. Because I have a lot of paper. Who would have thunk it, right? I have so much paper. Between scrapbook paper and dyed paper. Because I was on this kick for a long time. It was like, oh, you make dyed paper? Let me buy some. Uh... So pretty much anyone and everyone that told me that they made dyed paper colored coffee otherwise, I was like, oh, let me try some because I wanted to try everybody's different papers. Well, I have a giant file cabinet full of other people's dyed papers. Now I have my own too, obviously, like this. But, yeah. All right, let's see. What are we going to do here? I'm going to do... Ooh, let's do something different. Let's see. Let's go here. And... Here. Ooh, that'll be fun. Have a little pocket there. I just, with something like that, I wonder, how would you get it to stay? Maybe put something here in the corner. I mean, it's a cool concept. I think I'm going to do it. Yep, I'm going to do it. I am going to trim this paper up, though, because it's bulky. All right. So, mm. maybe we'll only do that one side because I think that might be harder to cover because it's all the way to the edge. So, let's do this one this way and this one this way. 
That way this is a full page and this one is the half page. All right. All right, so we're getting through this <laughs> little by little. I told you we're not going to finish this in an hour. But, you know, stopping and starting the video 15 times probably doesn't help. All right, so let's see. We're going to chop this there and this. there like that there we go and I don't want to keep those but I will because I have vowed to keep my scraps <laughs> oh that's gonna be tricky man because I'm so used to throwing stuff like that away and I'm gonna use the fabric tack because it's a little bit shorter like my tape is a half an inch wide I didn't think about that when I cut it. So, I'm going to, there we go. Let's see, attempt to use Fabri Tech. All right. And then, let's trim this ever so slightly at an angle. Bloop. So when I fold it, it doesn't poke out the other side. There we go. All right, let's find something to put right here. Um, oh, I think we can do one of these there and then do oh I want to do that yep all right so let's do that bloop bloop uh oh I ran out of tape I will show you guys how to replace the tape in here. It's tricky, but it's not too hard. Just in case you have your own and wondering how in the world you replace the tape. Because I wondered that for a very long time. You know what I didn't do? I'm glad I realized that now I didn't ink the edge. Because that would have been fun to try to do. Well, it's not that bad actually. But let's go ahead and ink that up and then I can grab this tape and show you how to replace the tape. It's like I said, it's really not hard. It is very intimidating the very first time you get it or try to replace the tape. It's very intimidating. sides of this as well. And then the other side of this page. I like how my fingers are turning brown. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Okay. All right. Oh, if you guys hear beeping, um, we got, I don't know if I told you this, um, but a few, quite a few months back, uh, we got an Instapot and oh my gosh, that thing is amazing. You know what? That's what I want you guys to do. Share with me if you have an Instapot or even a crock pot for that matter, share with me your 
favorite one pot meals. Like what do you throw in the pot so you don't have to worry about, you know, cooking or spending all day slaving over a hot stove or whatever. Even if you love cooking, I love cooking, but I don't have time to do all that every single day. So I missed the edge here. So I like, I like quick meals as well. I like Instapots and Crock-Pots. One of the, one of our favorites that we have, um, that we found in, in our search for low calorie foods is a lot of soups. Okay. So that's one. So if you don't like soup, you're probably not going to like it, but it is called enchilada soup and it is amazing. And give me two seconds and I'll tell you how to make it. cabinet that's right beside my office that has my tapes and such in it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up real quick and stab my glue. Pew. So anyway, enchilada soup is super, super good. Like I have, she won't admit that she's picky, but I have a very picky daughter, my oldest daughter. It's like she turned adult and she's like, I don't like anything anymore. <laughs> like, uh, okay, well you can make it yourself then because I am not your personal chef. <laughs> but anyway, um, you, sorry, this is loud. So you have this stock. It doesn't matter what kind of stock you have. I use vegetable stock and you pretty much put in any like vegetables that you really, really like. We did, um, let's see, gosh, I don't even remember exactly how to make it. I'm going to have to look it up, uh, and like tell you guys then, because I can't even remember exactly how to make it, but you have corn, black beans, um, let's see. What was it that made it the, oh man, that's going to bug me. Oh, I can't think of it. Anyway, I'll look it up and, um, I'll let you guys know in the next video. But anyway, that's as easy as the tape. That's it. That it's, it's really that simple. Um, and then you just kind of give it a, a little go, maybe not on such delicate paper. There we go. So you just kind of give it a little go here and voila, you're done. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold this up and we have another journaling card. Yay! <laughs> I have a couple of those. Oh, this is my glue book. Oh, this was a uh, Reader's Digest. So I have some napkin scraps that I've used in the past and I've just kind of stuck them in here because I don't typically keep scraps. So I would put them in there <laughs> and that would be my scraps. Um, oh, that's, oh, you know what? I wonder if she sends me a business card this time. Um, but this is where I get my, uh, rice paper, uh, ASCCraftSupplies.com. It's on Etsy, but what just happened? Okay. It scared me. I thought that it stopped recording again because my OBS minimized and I was like, not again. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, so back to our journal here. Where were we? Oh yes, we were doing this. Um, and if you have a spot that you didn't quite get to the edge with your tape, 
you can always tack it down with glue, just like you do with normal glue. If you notice that you don't get it all the way to the edge, you just tack down the little corner with some glue that doesn't want to come out of the bottle. There we go. All right. So then this is going to be glued straight across. So we're going to have a pocket here and a pocket here. This is more going to be a tuck spot, not a pocket. But this is, well, I guess the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're just going to take this middle line and we're going to glue straight across there. Uh, let's see. Maybe up a little bit. And put it all the way to the edge here. And we're basically going to highlight this little word line here. And we're going to highlight it with glue. All right. And then we're going to close that up and keep it pressed for a minute and make sure that we're still recording because uh, I'm sure you guys want to watch another 17 videos because, you know, it's fun like that. <laughs> Could you imagine, though, trying to watch a process video in, like, like multiple parts, but each part was only, like, five minutes long? That'd be crazy. I don't know. I guess I'm just weird. <laughs> I think it would be crazy. Ooh, you know, it'd be fun. Could it happen? Oh, that would be cool. I don't know if I could make that happen, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can so make that happen. Okay. I need to put something here, though. So let's go with... I don't know if that's contrast enough. It might not be too dark. Uh, that one's pretty, but it's on the wrong side. I need to be on this side. Then it just covers up. Which I have, but it's not cut up, I don't think. All right, let's see. Mm, I could do that one. It's like a mirror image of this one, but lighter. Mm, I don't want any of these. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this part and I'm going to leave this part open for now. But I think I want to put something behind this. I really like this doily. I love, love, love this doily. Oh, by the way, I do have these in the shop. I believe it's under the doily packs. I think it's letter Z, I think. Could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. But it is under doilies. I do know that. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna have to pull this tight a little bit. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling this tight just a little bit to tighten up that bottom pocket, that bottom tuck. Ooh, I could also put something right there like tack it right there to close it a little bit further. I'm going to do that. Excuse you. Did I touch the space bar? <laughs> I'm going to be paranoid about that now.
to my orange fingers. <laughs> I'm just finding. Alright, I think we might have done that. I'm just separating the page because the glue oozed a little tiny bit. So I'm just running my fingernail through the page. Alright. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's figure out how we're going to do this. Because I really want to use this. It is so pretty. I thought about putting it on the cover, but it just doesn't go on the cover. Like it would if I did that instead of what I'm doing here. But then I would cover up all of pretty. I thought about it after, of course, I did that. So, shaw, 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 shaw. Let's see what we got over here. I've got some little pages. Um, oh, what are you? That's kind of cool. All right. Do some little collage work here. because this covers up that over there. So yeah, let's move it towards the middle here. This was actually one of the in our one of the pieces that I cut off for like a corner pocket or a corner tuck thing. think, yeah, yeah, that's really cool, I like that, alright, so again, we're gonna have to leave this part blank, because I don't know what I'm gonna put over here yet, but I do want it to match with this here, so, so social, let's do... gonna wait and tack that down just a smidge and then flip it over and do the rest of it. So anyway, yeah, um, sorry, I got quiet there for a moment. What is y'all's favorite uh, dishes? I'm curious. And if you don't have an Instapot or a Crock-Pot or anything like that, what's your favorite dish to make? I'm 
concentrating on this gluing, man. Keep getting all quiet on you guys. Okay, so we're gonna glue this little snippet right here. Just like so. Oh, that is so cool. And see, I've left so much room in this journal that I'm able to put a giant doily in the middle of it and still have a lot of room left. Obviously, I still have a lot of, you know, decorating to do. And I'm probably re going to regret that towards the end. And this might just be one of those very, very fat journals. But maybe not. All right. We're just going to leave that for now. I think this is going to be another one of those um, we find something to go in there type. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go on the hunt for some digitals. I'm going to print those out. And I will definitely share the shops that I find them in. Um and I'll put those in the description and tomorrow's video if I find something. So I will be on the hunt and the lookout and I'll do that tonight and I will make the rest of this and some upcoming videos. So this is what we managed to do today in two videos. Um, we did this, oh sorry, we did this page we made double pocket here, so we have a pocket here and a pocket here. And then we have this page here. And then we have two pockets here. Again, this we're going to find something to go here. Page here. And these blank pages like this, these will be decorated like the rest of them. I just, like I said, I've, I really want to just get the pages in here and we'll decorate later. And then we also made, let's see, this page here. And then we did, we just finished this one and it's got a double tuck. We've got a tuck here and a tuck here. Okay. And some of the glue got on my paper. So I'm just going to pull that off. It's luckily Fabri-Tac. So it just comes right off got down here too. All right. So anyway, so that's going to be it for today's video. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining me in this process. It's a lot of fun. And hopefully we can get this done soon so we can get it up on the shop. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.